Hi, um, welcome to um, session one. In this session, we're going to look at um, creating a prayer tree. Um, the idea behind this is that we create the shape of a tree um, and you could do that with whatever media you like, really pens, um, crayons, paints, or, or using collage work um, to create the shape of a tree. And within that tree, we're gonna try and work in the names of people, communities, um, things that, that we're wanting to pray for. So effectively putting your prayers into a picture. Um, so you may be very um, artistically gifted, um, in which case um, you, all you might need is this idea to get started and the rest will naturally flow. Um, however, if you feel less confident about your abilities um, and you're looking for a little bit more guidance, then I'm going to try and help uh, provide you with that. So um, to start with, you're just going to have a think about what, what questions um, would be useful when designing um, the shape of a tree. So, you know, is your tree going to be tall and thin? Um, is it going to be um, sort of broader and wider? Um, it, or is, is it going to be round? That might um, affect how you want to have your piece of paper, whether landscape, portrait or, or even square. Um, is your tree going to be um, um, bare, so a sort of winter tree with bare branches? Um, is it going to be a spring tree and have lots of blossoms on it? Um, an autumn tree, so lots of different colours, or, or, or one that's in full leaf? Um, also, um, if you're going to put words into your tree, where are you going to leave sections or gaps or areas to fill with those words? Um, and, and that might help you think about where you're going to put your branches, that type of thing. To start with, I'm going to talk you through um, an example of one that I um, have done here. So um, you can see this very clearly on the, on the pictures in the blog, so um, don't strain your eyes trying to look at this one. But um, in this example, um, I've started by um, drawing the trunk uh, and the branches of the tree to begin with. So on the, on the right side of the tree, I've kept the branches quite simple and left quite a lot of space. Um, and then afterwards, I've begun to draw the outline of the greenery. Um, and then I've broken those areas up into rounded sections that I can later fill in. Uh, the next stage is then that I have filled those sections with different colours, different greens um, that sort of contrast to the, to the section next to it. Um, and having done that, I've then begun to fill in parts of those sections with the, with the names of people. Um, and when choosing the colour to, to, to do the text with, I've tried to choose a colour that contrasts with the background behind. Um, and then the bits that are, are left, I've, I've filled with some decoration and detail. Um, so, so that's an idea of, of how you might do a design in that way. Um, on this side of the tree, um, I've made the branches a little bit more intricate. Um, because I've decided not to put um, greenery into this tree, I've decided to add blossoms instead. And so I've added a lot more branches um, so that there's lots of little spaces where words can be written. Um, and my advice if you were gonna do something like this is to draw the branches and then, then put the words in. Um, and then you'll have lots of little gaps which you can fill with blossom afterwards uh, to, to fill out the space. Um, so that's an idea. And um, if you were wanting to do something similar to this, then I have created two templates, one with bare branches and one with um, big areas of, of um, uh, greenery. So um, you can download them and then either color or trace the design um, if you'd like to. Um, the next example um, that I've done in, is um, a prayer tree which is done as a collage design. Again, there's a proper picture of this um, on the blog, so you can see that more clearly than me holding it up here. Um, now, um, I did that with my daughter, 
um, we began by getting three um, bits of paper which were kind of fairly thick in texture and um, we, we started by dividing it into sections and painting stripes of different greens along the paper and then we got the next paper and we did different reds and yellows and then on the third one we did browns um, and we, we left them to dry and then we got a big piece of white background paper and we took the, the brown, um, the, the paper that we painted brown and we began to tear that up into lots of long thin strips to make the trunks of the tree. Um, and then we began to stick them into um, the shape of the trunk and the branches. Once we'd done that, we then got the other two pieces of paper that we painted with the reds and the greens on. We started to tear them up into lots of different shapes and sizes to make the leaves. Um, uh, and then my daughter began to write on them the, the names of different people and um, things that we wanted to pray for. Uh, and when we finished that, we began to stick them onto the tree to fill in all the gaps in between the branches. Um, and, um, and finish the tree. Um, so this is a great um, uh, way of doing something um, with, with children, or, but it could be done with any age group at all. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you find that um, a, another potentially inspiring way to create a prayer tree. I hope you enjoyed this post. I really hope you enjoyed the task. I really look forward to seeing um, what what you create. Um, please do share it with us. Do get in touch and and let us know whether this has been um, this has been enjoyable, helpful, um, and encouraging. Uh, thank you so much.